India has been growing very fast, especially in different, different areas. But a major chunk of people of India deprived of minimum requirements, especially their minimum wage and their uh, social security, then their uh, living conditions, health problems. <laughs> Three years ago, we felt it is very needed to have a legal status for the sake of working among the workers in legal basis. It made us to take a decision to form a registered body in the name of Workers India Federation. India is a strong nation and is emerging as a superpower in terms of its economic and military strength that it has achieved through relentless hard work. Today, India has got brilliant scientists, engineers, journalists, soldiers, bureaucrats, politicians, doctors, judges, missionaries, visionaries and gurus. The country's human resource and large population base are attributes of a strong nation. But over the years, we have failed to acknowledge millions of workers in the unorganized sector. Without them, the country's progress would not have been possible. Therefore, it is important to bring them in the mainstream of the society. Because for long, they have been exploited due to a lack of legal and social security. 40 to 50% of male workers and 81 to 87% of female workers receive daily wages below the minimum norm recommended by the Labour Ministry. As a result, poverty remains uphill. This leads to all sorts of social evils. The paradox has compelled Workers India Federation to work for emancipation of unorganized sector workers with the slogan Secured Worker, Strong Nation. Recently, we have registered under the CBCI Labor Commission. Before registering this uh, Workers India Federation, we have been doing a lot of welfare and right-to-base program among unorganized workers all over India. Unorganized workers are not only the workers who lack identity as a group or organizations, but also those who do not have legal protections like social security, medical and pension coverage. Most of the welfare programs available for poor are project based and for a very limited period. जहां हम काम किए थे वो मतलब पैसा में दिक्कत हो रहा था जल्दी पैसा नहीं दे रहा था हमारा परिवार चल नहीं पा रहा था वी शुड डेवलप और गवर्नमेंट शुड प्रोवाइड द बेसिक नीड्स ऑफ दिस कॉमन मैन और 93 परसेंटेज अनऑर्गेनाइज्ड सेक्टर वर्कर्स ऑर्गेनाइज्ड सेक्टर लेबर्स वर्क ऑन रेगुलर वेजेस और सैलरीज they are registered with employment firms and are protected by labor laws having access to the government's social security system. But the organized workforce is only 7% of 390 million labor force. The rest 93% of the labor force is the unorganized sector, which has been classified under 123 sectors by the government. They are not countable according to the government records. 
that means these workers are working under the firm or other place which are not registered or recorded in the government department. The concept of unorganized sector workers became popular recently in India. This was because of the recommendation of the Second Labor Commission, 1999 to 2001. The Commission recommended to amend all existing labor laws to accommodate unorganized workers. और यही साड़ी ना मार्केट में बिकती है बहुत ना ज़्यादे पैसे में और उसका उस हिसाब से हमलोगों को तो कुछ नहीं मिलता तीन सौ रुपए हमको मिलेगी और यही साड़ी जो हमलोग उतार के मार्केट में से ले वापस खरीदने जाएंगे तो दो हजार रुपए की मिलेगी पांच हजार रुपए की मिलेगी This man or women are suffering lot. There is no organization or platform to highlight their problem, minimum wage or our after long time working, uh, years working, they don't have a pension when we compare to other workers, those who are working in the organized sector. As an outcome of recommendations in 2004, central government constituted a national commission for enterprise in the unorganized sector for ensuring the welfare and well-being of all workers, also including the unorganized sector. Up to 2009, commission published nine reports with regards to unorganized sector workers. As a result of trade unions, labor movements, Government of India has in the past few years woken up to the concerns of the unorganized sector. पूरा जितना हिंदुस्तान में 12 सेंट्रल ट्रेड यूनियंस रिकॉग्नाइज्ड है गवर्नमेंट ने रिकॉग्नाइज किया हुआ है उसमें से 10 ट्रेड यूनियंस इकट्ठा हो करके और एक कोऑर्डिनेशन कमेटी बनाया और एक फोरम चला रहा है दिस होल नेशनल 11 ट्रेड यूनियंस आर वर्किंग मेनली फॉर ऑर्गेनाइज्ड सेक्टर दैट मींस द ऑइस ऑफ ऑर्गेनाइज्ड सेक्टर विल हाइलाइटेड इन द गवर्नमेंट पॉलिसी the voice of unorganized sector will not be heard by the government or in this type of operation committee. That is why we should have the representation of unorganized sector union in this type of operation uh, committee. So, here no union is not going to be able to do this. I don't have to say that. If we do this, then we will have to eat, where we will eat, where we will eat, where we will eat. But there is no union. If you go to any union, वर्कर को फायदा ही मिलेगा मेरे कंगाल में कोई नुकसान नहीं है मगर कुछ लोग फील कर रहे हैं। Lot of recommendation came up from the part of the common man, movements, trade union. I feel government is not given much priority for that recommendation which are came up from the part of the common man or trade unions. They had a, a set pattern according to the bureaucrats that made them to have uh, act for an organized sector. But we looking forward positively uh, future course. As a result of a sustained campaign, both in parliament and outside the parliament on 16th May 2009, much awaited Unorganized Sector Workers Act 2008 came into existence. The Act has got provisions for social security of unorganized workers. All provisions are being implemented by the welfare boards under central and state governments. Workers' facilitation centers set up with the help of labor movements or trade unions would enable registration of workers with their panchayats. This would assist unorganized workers to organize themselves into forums, sectional organizations, self-employed people's organizations, cooperative societies, self-help groups and NGOs. In spite of strong recommendations of National Commission for Enterprise in Unorganized Sector, for Social Security Fund for Unorganized Workers and ILO's directions to spend 4% of GDP for Social Security, we are spending only 1% of the GDP on welfare for the unorganized workers, while their contribution to GDP is 62%.
the government is now looking forward to private sector initiatives in this regard. Instead of conventional attitude as strike, dharna or collective baraji, labor movement should come up with a balanced approach for the welfare of working class to build a strong nation where workers are secured. In this regard, Workers India Federation is making a big difference with specific and systematic people-oriented and legally binding activities. Its federal network aims to function for the welfare of the workers in the unorganized sector. Workers India Federation has been establishing workers facilitation centers with the help of trained facilitators to educate working class about their rights, duties and availability of various government welfare schemes for them. हम सभी से लेबर कमीशन से जुड़े हैं और सरकार की योजनाओं को हम बार-बार देख लेते हैं उसके अनुसार सरकार की योजनाओं से ये लोगों को जोड़ने के प्रयास करते हैं। हस्बैंड के गुजरने के बाद मुझे बहुत सी परेशानियां आ गई बच्चों को पढ़ाने और खाने के लिए कपड़े के लिए खर्चा भी नहीं चल पा रहा था मेरा फिर हमने किसी से अस्मिता के बारे में सुना जब से जुड़े हुए हैं बहुत ही अच्छा लगा एक सेंटर मेरा चलता है वहां पढ़ाती हूं उन बच्चों को ट्रेड यूनियन पीपल एंड गवर्नमेंट शुड सपोर्ट सच अ काइंड ऑफ द वर्कर्स फैसिलिटेशन सेंटर वी वुड सजेस्ट गवर्नमेंट शुड हैव एवरी पंचायत वन ऑफिशियल वर्कर्स फैसिलिटेशन सेंटर where all kind of uh, union leaders can uh, come and uh, uh, introduce their workers to the workers facilitation center in panchayat level that panchayat level workers facilitation center can help to have uh, bank account or uh, other uh, facilities for the workers workers india federation foresees a day when everybody having a wish and a will to work would get a decent work of their competence. We are building up the society where people get decent work, secured work. that will make the nation strong we urge the leaders of the country and the privileged sections of the society to stand up for the rightful rights of our brethren in the unorganized sector let us all work together to strengthen our nation by ensuring social justice and security for the much exploited unorganized labor class <laughs>